Hello anda sedang menonton cerita sihat Nisa. Saya berada di uh, Twin City Marathon 2018 di Cyberjaya dan uh, Running of the Week minggu ini akan kongsikan apakah kemeriahan, apakah yang menariknya mengenai Twin City Marathon ini dan sebelum itu kita akan dalami mengenai IVF. Semuanya dalam cerita sihat Nisa untuk hidup yang lebih berkualiti. IVF, of course, is a technology that has been uh, around for about 30 years or so. Uh, when IVF first started, the, it was a very, um, a very new field. Now there have been much, uh, basically, quite a lot of uh, procedures, especially the laboratory procedures, have been optimized. So it's actually quite standard uh, for uh, many IVF standards. Yeah. Then do you have the uh, second layer of added skills. So in addition to the uh, hardware, the software, the experience, the, the exposure, uh, those are the fine things that make the difference between delivering a good service and an excellent service. Uh, the Asian mentality and the medication uh, way of looking at infertility that is like, like a stigma, you know, it's something which is not good for them. So they, they don't want to talk about it, they don't want to seek help. But uh, this sort of um, uh, views, the social views on infertility has been changing over the years. Uh, so patients are more acceptable to uh, IVF as a form of treatment. So they, they, they are more uh, used. They, they are more used to the idea of uh, going for IVF treatment. IVF. Uh, requires a uh, collection of many eggs. In a woman's reproductive cycle, only one egg finally ovulates. But actually, maybe 20 to 30 eggs are produced every month. They all die. It's the survival of the fetus. It's the Darwinian theory. Yeah? So only the strongest survive. The, the so uh, what, what we do in IVF is that in order to get more eggs, we prevent them from dying. And the way to prevent them from dying is to give them a drug or a medicine called FSH. FSH is actually a hormone produced by the woman's own body, uh, to be specific, her pituitary gland. So you need a stimulation of about two weeks. So during these two weeks of stimulation, you need to be monitored. You need to see the doctor, you need to do scanning. For us, we also do blood tests. So our monitoring is more, uh, more intensive, more critical. So because we have the patient's welfare at heart, we want to make sure everything is okay. If you don't monitor adequately, sometimes you uh, there's a certain hormone that rises, and then you know you find that it's not very good. So once the eggs are ready, we will trigger with a final injection and then about 36 hours later we will do an operation so the timing is very critical the operation is quite simple if there are no cuts you just put a needle through the vagina right so uh, the, the uh, uh, eggs are collected and then for the normal IVF or XC procedure we will need to fertilize so that way we know that the embryo is actually growing then we can grade the embryos uh, by uh, various technologies. <coughs> Previously, we just used to look one time because we don't want to disturb the embryo. So the time lapse will allow us to monitor the embryo uh, without disturbing the embryo for, for its entire life. Every 10 seconds or every 15 seconds, it will take a photo without disturbing the embryo. Very low light. Uh, and, and so we can piece together what is actually happening. So it's like spying in, into the bedroom uh, for the first five days of the day. It's very important because 
from that we have found that there are all kinds of abnormalities. The, the technology has made it possible for freezing of eggs to be done efficiently. And this technology is quite recent, maybe only about 20 years. Uh, this technique of vitrification uh, was uh, invented and uh, slowly it has been demonstrated that it is actually very efficient. Because of that, uh, people then uh, feel more comfortable in doing the procedure because if you if the procedure is experimental, they do not want to freeze the eggs. People have uh, done studies to look at the cost. This, if the woman becomes older and she sticks in, sticks in fertility treatment, the efficiency is much lower because the pregnancy rate is much lower. So you need uh, many more cycles, you need also many more eggs. Not only that, if once you become pregnant, the chance of a miscarriage is much higher. Alhamdulillah, uh, we talk about this year ni, kita ada banyak pertambahan lah. Meaning to say that Twin City Marathon ni, kita dah run for the last four years. Then this year, kita have more than uh, 8,000 participants lah. Meaning to say that the, uh, apa nama ni, uh, runners, marathon runner di Malaysia ni dah put in dia punya almanac, punya calendar. So, Twin City Marathon is a must participation from from that lah. So again, kita, why we are into this, uh, Cyber Jaya ni, Cyber View itself is actually a global tech enabler. So part of kita punya ecosystem is that we want to have talent. So we want our talent to be very healthy and it also in kada week kita meeting N50 punya ni lah. Healthy living, healthy lifestyle dan sebagainya. It's very good. If you look at it, a lot of people that datang kan, dia datang dengan bawa family, bawa anak and they run and things like that. It's very healthy, it's very positive to Malaysia community as well. For one thing, kalau you tengok, ha, dari segi first and foremost, bila terbuat, we kita uh, jalankan marathon ni, satu ialah aspek, aspek keselamatan, nombor satu. And we look at it, Twin City, Cyberjaya and Putrajaya has been known for during the weekends, we have a lot of these outdoor activities. Yeah? Uh, contohnya, Twin City Marathon is not the only one that kita run in, in Cyberjaya lah. Kita ada obstacle run, in fact that yesterday pun last night, kita ada one run, you know. So, we have just a lot of activities. Satu, because of safety. Cyberjaya ni, if you look at it, we have ample space, jalan yang lebar dan luas, selamat untuk orang berlari, bawa family dan sebagainya compared to other, other places lah other places like right? they run through buildings and you have to beat the traffic and sebagainya but di sini, Alhamdulillah no, kita have very ample space for people to run very spacious, safety is concern satu Secondly, kalau you tengok, there's a lot of greeneries here in Cyberjaya. Of which kita part of kita punya ecosystem tu is green, green aspect of the development of the city Cyberjaya ni. Even though later kita akan move to be, uh, to towards Cyberjaya as a smart city, first smart city in Malaysia. Uh, tapi kita still uh, ada this element of green. So, 30% of Cyberjaya development is green. So bila green ni you tengok, orang lagi pun dia tak letih, tak penat because you look at green and think like it's very healthy, fresh air. No, I think that if you guys been here since morning, you can feel that the vibe tu is very positive compared to lagi setelah bangunan dan sebagainya. We started Green City, when I say we ini, when I was in Cyberview as the MD, I left uh, early or mid last year. So the whole idea is to put Cyberjaya on the running map. Uh, nationally first, perhaps regionally, and then you know eventually, who knows, global. Because uh, this is one of the ways uh, to profile uh, the city as not just a city that people come in and work, 
But what is most important is to make the city to appeal to everyone, especially the sporting community. So, and it augurs very well with this notion that the city is not just for people to come to work, but also for people to come and play and enjoy themselves. And you can see, if you can see, if you were, if you were to run the full marathon, can? the whole idea of Twin City ini is between uh, what they call the conurbation of both Cyberjaya and Putrajaya. So you can enjoy the green scenery and also how, how, how nice uh, Cyberjaya is. So it's not just about the buildings but it's about the ecosystem that, that is in existence in, in Cyberjaya. So the whole idea, like I said, is to, to appease and, uh, and, and to, to appeal to the whole uh, community, not just the working community but also the sporting community. Bagus, because healthy lifestyle ni, especially sekarang, kita kan banyak macam stress kita ada. So, I'm sure you, you know, tengok awani runners kan, why you run, why you exercise? It's a good balance. Uh, when you work, you get stressed. And uh, I think for me personally, I, I take running and other sporting activities as, a, as an avenue, you know. One is to let your to let your, your steam off. And secondly is to have a balance, uh, balanced lifestyle uh, between uh, when you go to work, and then when you exercise, of course, uh, try to not get all these, uh, uh, what do you call that, diseases. Lah, you know? Healthy lifestyle is good. Health, healthy mind, healthy body.